Okay, I'm ready. Rolling. Hi, it's Malia from Yesterday on Tuesday, and today I want to show you one of my favorite projects to do. It's super easy and super quick, and it's how to make a Scrabble tile pendant necklace. So basically, first you're going to need to get your supplies, and you might already have some of these um, in your craft room or around your home. So what you're going to need is Mod Podge. You're going to need ice resin, and these, it's these two bottles here. If you want to add a little bit of a glitter effect, I would strongly suggest using stickles. You're going to want to um, grab some E6000 glue. This is extremely um, strong kind of jewelry grade glue. You're going to need some Scrabble tiles. Now if you don't have any Scrabble tiles, they're easy to pick up on Etsy. Or you can also check um, your local craft store where they will have um, imitation Scrabble tiles, believe it or not, that are the same dimension. Um, you're also going to need some art. I grabbed these Valentine's images from Etsy. It was very inexpensive. You get a sheet and you cut them out. And then you're going to need a bale for the back of the Scrabble tile. So it's, it's super simple. So your first step is you're going to get your uh, Scrabble tile and you're going to grab some art and go ahead and apply the Mod Podge with a paintbrush. And you're going to want to put it all over the back of the Scrabble tile. And it's really important that you make sure that you get um, kind of every little area covered there. But you don't want to put too much podge. You don't want to over podge it because then it's going to be too slick and slippery and your um, your image won't adhere correctly. So you just gently kind of place the image on top there. And don't worry if you see a little bit of white because it will dry clear. So you just kind of get it like how you want it and um, let that guy dry. Now um, after it dries, you would want to put another layer of Mod Podge on top of it. And this just kind of seals it in. And then if you want to add some sparkle to it, um, I like stickles a lot. It's acid free and it's easy to use. You just put a little tiny bit on there. Um, don't overdo it because it you don't want it to be pretty flat. But just add a little bit of glitter on there. Super easy. And then um, you're going to want to let that whole thing dry. I always like to let things dry um, either overnight or 24 hours because I think you just get a better result in the end. So after you've done that and it's been um, podged on top, you are going to want to add your um, layer of ice resin. Now this is jewelry grade resin. It's very easy to use. They have you mix A into B. You stir it for two minutes to kind of get rid of all the white lines in it. And then when you're ready to add it, use this popsicle stick that comes with it and you just kind of gently lay it on the middle there and push it out to the sides. Now you don't want to add too much because too much gets goopy and it kind of runs off the side and it ruins your project. But if you're patient and you just kind of move it out really gently, um, it works really well. And the nice thing about this um, ice resin is it gives you that really professional look there's been some other things I've used in the past that are much thinner and they don't look quite as nice when they're done. But this one gives you really that domed look and um, it looks really great and like I said, really professional. So after you kind of get it all the way over to the corners and make sure everything's looking good there. I like to get it really over to the corners because it bothers me if it's not. Um, once that's done, you're going to have something that looks like this. So um, this is one that I have kind of in the drying process and that will definitely need to be set for about 24 hours. It's really important. And that's a situation too where you would want to have um, the light on that helps it dry faster and better and you really want that to seal in there. Now remember this isn't waterproof so even after it's done you won't want to um, wear it in the shower or get it wet but it does make a super nice piece. So here's what it looks like after it is set. This is after a day. You can see it's very shiny and pretty and it looks like something you would find in a store. And then to put the bale on the back, it's really easy. Um, you would just would grab your E6000, you put a little bit of the E6000 on the back of the bale and then you just kind of gently push it on there like that. And you let that dry overnight or 24 hours and then you have this as an end result. And um, I've had a lot of success with Scrabble Tile Pendants. I've had a lot of failures too. But I think I finally found the right products um, that work really well. And it's a lot of fun. And it's something you can do to make um, presents for other people. You can do it for your kids, 
for their uh, school. I've done that before. You can make it for um, selling. I've sold a lot of these. And it's really easy and fun. So that's how you make Scrabble tile pendants.